Welcome to our J Crazy News Headlines and a special Wednesday evening to those watching this news broadcast. Now to my viewers and my subscribers. First our news is Clarendon. Yes my viewers and subscribers, Clarendon. The bloody mere pen and a play pen. Now on the screen right now is 27 year old Keith McIntosh from Dear Low Mako in Clarendon. Now last night in May Pen, my viewers and subscribers around 8 30 pm he was at his stall selling fruits because he's a fruits vendor when two men approached him and a brief discussion with him when one of the men pulled a firearm a handgun to be exact and shot Mr. McIntosh in his head now after which the one of the gunmen used a knife to remove the strap bag from his body and those two women escaped in a Toyota Wish vehicle. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, extortion is the motive as to why Keith McIntosh was murdered. And based on information, my viewers and my subscribers, you have gunmen from Farm Heights and Effortville in Clarendon extorting vendors in the town of Maypen. And when the demands of these criminals are not met, these vendors face death. Likewise, Mr. McIntosh. He refused to pay them extortion money, my viewers and my subscribers, and they took his life, hitting him in his head and his upper body. Now those two gunmen escaped in a place called Brian's Crescent, where they entered a vehicle which a Toyota wish and they drove off successfully. Now Keith the hospital in Maypen where he was pronounced dead. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, you see how hard people have to work in the sun and vendors. And these little criminals who are a waste of life are basically targeting vendors who are trying to make ends meet for themselves and their family, my viewers and my subscribers. This is total mayhem and total chaos in our country. Criminals are on the loose. They're out of control. What is happening in this country? Who is going to put these criminals in check? Not the government because they've got a problem as well. Not the people of this country because they're not talk. They sit down and they just take things and let criminals run this country. It can't go so. It has to stop. But how can it stop when the government themselves don't care? They have their fingers and their mind and brain in other places, my viewers and my subscribers. And the people who are law-abiding are mind their own business. So, this country is forever deteriorating constantly, every day, every second, every minute. And sooner or later, these criminals will be in parliament writing legislations. They'll be in parliament writing decisions and making laws in this country because the government of Jamaica is ineffective and the people are not fighting back. Something has to seriously done because Jamaica will eventually turn even worse than Haiti. Now we head towards White House, Miss Milan, Jamaica. And the screen right now is Mr. Ardell Salman of a white house address, a truck driver to be exact. Now, Mr. Salman was killed on the grounds, the church grounds, my viewers and subscribers, of the White House of God of Prophecy in White House, Westmoreland. Now, Mr. Salman was driving a Isuzu truck when a blue Toyota Axio pulled up behind him on the church ground. Now gunmen are lighted from that vehicle and start fired shot at him, my viewers and my subscribers. Now these gunmen gave chase after Mr. Salman and he was shot more than once. Now after which my viewers and my subscribers, those gunmen escaped in the same title axio. Now Mr. Salman was hit badly, taken to Savamar Hospital would undergo treatment and unfortunately he died in the hospital now so far my viewers and my subscribers the police are investigating 
and they determined as to why he was chased and killed by these gunmen. I tell you, know, my viewers and my subscribers, sometimes the life we live and the life we choose to live eventually become our downfall. On the screen right now is Shemai Bora, age 22, of Kamapen in St. Elizabeth. She was a female who was murdered along with Damian Robinson of My Town in Manchester who is of age 26, my viewers and my subscribers. They were both killed at Bar Place in Kendall, Manchester, while coming for a party. The vehicle stopped at the intersection and lone gunman started firing shots at them. Now, Miss Bara got gunshot wounds, but based on information, she ran from the vehicle, but she collapsed and died on the spot. Now, Mr. Robinson, aka Bleachers, died behind the steering wheel. They were both in a relationship. Now, they were both targeted and murdered by a lone gunman in reprisal for a wanted man and person of interest who is called Aldo Scott, aka Kukum, who was murdered on Monday in Old England, Manchester, my viewers and my subscribers. Now Aldo Scott, age 37, otherwise known as Kukum, was wanted by the police in Manchester for various of robberies, shooting and murder across St. Elizabeth and also Manchester. But gunmen get him before the police could basically get him and lock him up. Now it's believed that Damian Robinson, aka Bleachers, allegedly was on the shooters who took out Kukum. I said before, Damian Robinson, aka Bleachers, is allegedly said to be one of the shooters who took out Kukum. That is why the lone gunman came back and killed him and his girlfriend. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, Robinson and Bora was active in Lachis County. Damian Robinson and Shemai Bora were active in Lachis Scamming, my viewers and my subscribers. And based on information, at first person thought they were killed because of Lachis Scamming. An investigation was done and their killing led back to the wanted man, who is known as Kukum, who was murdered on Monday in Old England, Manchester, my viewers and my subscribers. Now, Gurley or Browning or Shimmy is dead, leaving her daughter, my viewers and my subscribers. Shemai Bora was aged 22. Young lady nourished now in life, and she did leave her female, her young baby girl child. Now, this is a message to the females out there in Jamaica. I say this with great concern. Many of you are hooked to too much negativity and all this fame and glamour that you want to be a part of when it comes down to that you're scamming. Getting the fast money, spending all that money and your eyes are dazzled. In the end result, you are facing a death penalty that you don't even know. Your life is done when you enter into lucky scamming. And if push come to shove, you'll be taken out, you and your partner. The more you chop the line, is the more you're chopping more days, more minutes, more seconds, more hours, more years of your life. And scamming is a dead sentence. It might seem fascinating at first, enjoyable, but you're placing yourself and your family in danger. And in most cases, you end up being murdered. I can't tell you how to live your life, but whatever you put in the universe, 
you receive it back the same way. If you put positiveness in the universe, you receive positiveness. If it goes for negativity, you know what will happen next. This is Jay Crazy News once again. Until then, bless up. Yeah man, I'm here see a black legend. I'm here represent for Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe and share out the thing. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Jay Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. Jay Crazy not play when him a review the thing them. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy